as long as you're using a larger transformer like this that has a 15 volt tap, which means you're starting at 15 volts and all the way down the line, you might get down to 10 volts, but that's still gonna run that light and it's still gonna be as bright as it should because that bulb is rated from nine to 15 volts. Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you wanna see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's gonna look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey guys, so like I said on this project, we actually pulled out a bunch of old fixtures. Um, they're actually really good quality fixtures. Uh, the only problem, and not that it's a problem, but these were probably installed 20 years ago and they're all halogen fixtures. Um, I would say if you're selling a new landscape lighting system, don't even, don't even consider halogen. Um, it's just gonna make it a lot more difficult to design and plan your system because you gotta be a lot more careful with things like voltage drop and stuff. Um, and if there's a, um, if you're looking at getting a system installed and there's somebody out there who's still quoting you on a halogen system, the only reason they're doing it is they're just trying to make a sale because halogen fixtures are cheaper than LED, just like when you go buy a halogen bulb as opposed to an LED bulb for your home, the LED costs more, but you save more in power uh, long term. You don't have to change bulbs all the time. And with a low voltage landscape lighting system, it just makes it um, a lot more attainable for the do-it-yourselfer to be able to go put in a system because you don't have to worry about um, all those old videos on landscape lighting that are online that talk about voltage drop and hub and spoke and all that kind of stuff. Um, not that that's that it's that important or not important. Um, it's just, it's not as relevant as it used to be um, with halogen systems if you're using an LED system. So, um, so anyway, good fixtures, they're halogen. We're replacing them all with LED, but the thing that I wanna really point out is the connections. So, um, you know, you see these a lot at uh, your big box stores. It's basically, uh, a, there's many different kinds, but all it is is, it's like a clamp-on device that basically you stick your wires into and it just pierces into the wires. And the problem with that is anytime you start poking holes into your wire and it's buried underground where the soil is moist and you get rain and all this kind of stuff, what do you think is gonna to happen to that wire over time and what do you think is gonna to happen to that fixture? It's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. This is the DBRY Waterproof Landscape Lighting Connectors. These are great for long lasting, low voltage landscape lighting connections. Each one of these tubes is gel filled to help keep the water out, as well as it's got a snapping mechanism to keep your wires from pulling apart, which ensures that you're gonna have long lasting connections for all your low voltage landscape lighting. Uh, so I will give you guys one last quick tip for your landscape lighting system if you want to make it a smart system and a Wi-Fi system and easier to operate. Uh, you can go get something like this. It's a Wyon Outdoor Wi-Fi outlet. There's lots of smart outlets out there. Um, I just like this one because it's designed to go outside. It's super easy to use. It's compatible with Amazon Alexa. And basically all you need to do is take it out of the box, plug it into your GFCI receptacle, plug your transformer into this, and then put your transformer in the on position and then just let this do all the programming for you it's nice because you can still have it work with dawn to dusk and as well as it's got about seven or eight different programming options so it just makes your system super easy to use plus you can operate it from anywhere in the world because it is wi-fi and cloud based so it's just a simple way to make your system a smart wi-fi system so the nice thing with LED as opposed to when it was halogen systems is halogen you had to be very precise that you were operating kind of between 10 and a half to 11 and a half volts at every single light, which means you have to be really, um, really co cognizant of what type of wire you used, uh, how long your runs were, what kind of lights, all that kind of stuff. Most good LED lamps will operate properly anywhere from nine all the way to 15 volts, which means if you're starting at 15 volts, you can lose up to six volts along that line and still not have it affect your light, which if you're using 12 gauge wire, which I would recommend if you're on any do-it-yourself project, just use 12 gauge. You're not gonna save that much money by using something smaller and you limit your ability to grow on that system. With 12 gauge wire, a general rule of thumb is I can put 100 watts on a single line 
and run that wire up to 300 feet without having enough significant voltage drop to cause any kinds of issues. Now this is where uh, a transformer like this that I'll show you comes in handy is now, say you've got, say you're under your, your total wattage for your transformer, but you've got a bunch of lights that need to run out a long ways over there and a bunch that need to run out a long ways over there. And you don't wanna loop the whole system because then you're gonna have a ton of wire and you're almost definitely gonna have some voltage drop. Well, what you can do, especially when you're getting a good transformer that has a larger tap like this, is you can actually run multiple wires out of this transformer. So I can have my wires that are going in, I can have one line that is going into my common tap and one line that's going into my 15 volt tap and have them running out that way. And then whatever line I have coming in, say from this side over here, I can do the same thing and I can just twist those wires up and I can put two in one terminal and the other two in the other and then basically what I've done is I've split my voltage uh, my voltage drop across both those lines. So if you're running excessive lines and you have them going in two directions, just run two wires from your transformer. And as a matter of fact, with these transformers that we use in all our kits, <coughs> this is a 150 watt EX transformer from FX Luminaire. I can actually fit up to three different runs out of this transformer. And I'll show you what even a larger transformer with multiple taps looks like that you can do the same thing. All right, now sometimes you're gonna get a slightly bigger uh, system that's gonna maybe require 30, 40 lights and you wanna upgrade to something like a 300 watt transformer which typically will have multiple taps and sometimes it has more but if you look at this one you can see I've got two common taps, I've got a 12 volt and a 15 volt tap. And really all that does is it's the same thing as like I've talked about with our 15 volt transformers is you can easily fit two to three runs going out in multiple directions from this same transformer but um, not that you're gonna have to worry too much if you're putting in a halogen system you had to be a lot more aware of this but again what you could do is any of your longer runs that are say 300 feet out and you have more lights on what you want to use is just use your common and your 15 volt tap and then if you have some runs that are shorter that have less lights well then you would just wire those in to your 12 volt and your common tap. That's really the only difference between a multiple tap transformer and just a single tra tap transformer. With the, if you're running more than three lines, you wanna get a multiple tap transformer. If not, and you don't overload the system, so example, you're under 150 watts, you can get a 150 watt transformer that has just the two terminals. Well then you can use that and you can fit all your lights and you can fit up to three runs on that one. But if you need to run more than that, well then just get yourself a multi-tap transformer. It's not something you need to worry as much about if you're putting in an LED system. When halogen systems were around, you would have transformers that had 15 volts, 14 volts, 13 volts, 12 volts, because you had to really know how long you were running your wire, how many lights, because at each of those lights, you had to be very specific with how many volts they were getting. With an LED system, your lights should range between 10 and 15 volts, which means you have a lot more flexibility for voltage drop, which is why LED systems make it so much more accessible for the do-it-yourselfer to put in their own landscape lighting. As we're, we're getting pretty close to getting wrapped up this project. Um, we've got all our lights in, so basically, you know, our first step was we, uh, we took a design and we went and chose all our lights. What was cool about this one is, uh, you know, this is a client who actually had um, emailed in pictures for a free consultation and because it was on Vancouver Island we were able to do it so uh, we looked through all those pictures we gave him some recommendations uh, and then we gave him a price to actually install it which is not always the case because some of you guys are, are far away I wish we could but we just can't but um, what was cool is then we got on site and a lot of what we had determined from the pictures were very accurate so we already had a pretty good idea of what we were gonna do how many lights and we're able to size the transformers beforehand but sometimes, and it's often the case, we get on site and there's some things we wanna add or some things we wanna take away. So, um, so that's how we go and then determine our transformer. So we'll always try and, and determine that based on a design. Um, but the key is just leave it a little bit bigger if you're not sure because you always wanna make sure you have enough room. And if you're using an LED system, um, it's not as crucial that you get it uh, the exact transformer as when you had a halogen system. With a halogen system, you had transformers that had multiple taps and you really had to be careful that you were getting the right voltage to the right lamps or you were just gonna burn them out a lot quicker. But 
if you're uh, if you're getting an LED system, a lot of times you'll see on the box it'll say that your LED is usually rated from 9 volts all the way to 15 volts, which means it's going to operate within that range. Whereas halogens was usually between 11 and 12, so you really had to do your math. Um, with LED, that eliminates a lot of that. So, a general rule of thumb, and if you're if you have more questions about sizing your transformer and voltage drop and all that. Go to YouTube and just search Lighting Doctor Voltage Drop. There's a video where I go into a lot of detail and show you a chart and everything. Uh, but general rule of thumb, uh, on 300 feet of wire, you can put up to 100 watts and not really have any voltage drop issues as long as you're using a larger transformer like this that has a 15 volt tap, which means you're starting at 15 volts and all the way down the line you might get down to 10 volts, but that's still going to run that light and it's still going to be as bright as it should because that bulb is rated from 9 to 15 volts again assuming it's a it's a good one um, that's why we always say not all products are created equal so you have to do some due diligence there uh, we do a lot of that uh, in our kits but um, just just buyer beware um, so basically it's really simple to go and size your transformers you take all your lights you add up all the water of all the lights so if you have a bunch of five watt up lights and you've got um, let's call it 20 of them well that uh, that comes out to a hundred watts, but you want to size that transformer a little bit larger because depending on the efficiency of that bulb uh, The more efficient it is the closer that that actual wattage is going to be to, to five watts But the less least efficient or the lesser efficient bulbs are going to sometimes be almost 10 watts Even though the box says 10 watts and that's something called their their actual It's called their VA their actual wattage um, so you got to be careful about that. That's why we always say size it a little bit more, but general of thumb, add up all your lights, um, add up all your lights and then size your transformer 20, 30, 40% more than that. Uh, if you don't want to have to worry about voltage drop, get a good transformer that has a 15 volt tap and you can run hundred Watts on 300 feet of line without running into that issue of, uh, losing any brightness at the end of the line. But that's basically it when it comes to a transformer. The only other thing I was going to mention is the timer options. Now, um, you know, you see a lot of the dinosaur looking um, timers where it's this little digital or this little um, analog wheel that you got all these little tabs you got to stick out. They got these, um, these different digital timers that you got to be a rocket science to operate. The nice thing is that a transformer like this, um, we use one of these. It's from, uh, it's from Yon. It's a Wi-Fi timer. But basically there's there's dozens of these on the market and if you have a smart home system have a look if they already have an outdoor plug because that's all this is it's basically a Wi-Fi plug for the outdoors and all you have to do is now when you go plug this transformer into your GFCI receptacle um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this into the on position so you're just gonna leave your transformer in all the time but this little thing here where usually you would have a photocell which again I highly recommend against because photocells just fail all the time you have to have your transformer in the right position because it's in a dark shaded position your lights are going to be on all the time so all those kinds of things but <laughs> to get back to it basically where it says to plug in your timer or your photo cell or whatever all you have to do is unplug that plug in your your wi-fi plug whether that be this one or whether that be one uh, based on the smart home system you have go and plug it into there and then you plug this guy into into your um, to your plug-in and then you just close that up leave it in the on position and then you can go and operate everything from your Wi-Fi plug and usually most of these you don't need a hub anymore um, they have their own app so you can just go download it and it usually walks you through how to do that in two or three steps and all of a sudden now you have a, a Wi-Fi landscape lighting system but you haven't paid tons and tons of money for it Another thing that we do a lot of times if, because I get asked all the time, well, I want my front yard, my backyard, I want to be able to zone them different so I can turn them on at different times, kind of like a sprinkler system. There, there is some really good systems that are out there that do that. Um, they tend to be quite costly. They're great systems, but it depends on your budget. If you don't want to do that and spend that kind of money on a system, just go and use a separate transformer. You know, in this case, on this project, that's what we're doing. We've got one of these for the backyard and one for the front. Luckily, because we have this timer, we can run both those controllers on the exact same app and set them up 
with totally different schedules, uh, which is what's cool about going and adding something like this to your transformers. And it doesn't have to be this one. It can be basically any outdoor Wi-Fi plug that you go plug into here is gonna work. So make your life a lot easier, turn your transformer into a Wi-Fi system, go and size it properly, be safe, build it, um, select it larger in case you want to add on down the road too so hopefully that helps answer your transformer questions but like i said if you need more definition on uh, voltage drop and stuff go to uh, youtube and search uh, voltage drop lighting doctor and i guarantee you'll find something hey guys thanks so much for watching i hope you guys got some great do-it-yourself landscape lighting tips now please be sure to go to our website at lightingdoctor.ca and check out our how-to page it's full of great resources from our podcast to our video to our most frequently asked questions and also check out our try it before you buy it light where you can actually go now and get one of our premium quality up lights and a king innovation insta light which is basically a battery pack now that allows you to go and run those lights and test them out on your pop property try it for 14 days if you don't love it send it back to us and we'll give you a full refund and if not you keep the light at a discounted rate and go and buy what you need for your project. So thanks again for watching. Please be sure to leave us a comment. We love your feedback. Have a great day.